welcome to Ted's Outdoors Hoodcraft Survival. Today we are opening the December Apocalypse box. I think the last one we did was for the October, so you guys can check out the video on that. But this was sent to me on December 15th. He, uh, Creek Stewart usually sends these out uh, so that they get to your house on the 15th of every other month if you are subscribed. Um, so you got the hashtag Apocalypse box. That's for Instagram. Now, I have previously opened this box to check out what was inside, just, you know, to see what was inside so I'm more prepared for the video. So this isn't a first unboxing video. Now, he has an advertisement right here. This is what first starts out is the Just Don't, or Survival is Simple, Just Don't Die t-shirt, which is kind of cool. I would like to get one of those in the future. I think that's a cool saying. And then these are all the um, advertisements, you know, Escape the Woods and things. And then you have a contents list, so it shows you all the contents, and then you have an advertisement for his new book, which is coming out soon. I'm really looking forward to that one. You can pre-order it now. Um, it's called Survival Hacks. Pre-order that now. So I've already gone through this, so I'm more prepared on giving you guys information about the contents. Now this is a knot tying kit or game. So it's got probably rope in it. And then it shows a bunch of different ways to tie knots and tells you how to do them. Gives details and instru detailed instructions on how to go through each knot. And I think that's very important. Something that a lot of people don't focus on, you know, because it's kind of boring. But it's very, very good. So this was very interesting, and I'm glad he put this in here. This is a pine glue making kit. So a kit for making uh, pine pitch glue. And I've definitely made this in the past. There's a lot of YouTube tutorials on YouTube on how to do it, so I haven't done a video on making it. But the glue really does work. Um, you know, you add charcoal and pine pitch and you melt them down and mix them together. And it really makes a very strong glue that is waterproof. And so it works really well on mending gear. And it's good to know that you can make it almost anywhere in the world with just a few pieces of essential kit. Now this is a multi-purpose handkerchief. I'm going to open this up because I didn't open this up previously. I'm going to look at this real quick. So it looks like it's a bag. But it's also a handkerchief. So like a scarf. Yeah. So it's a bag. And I think that's really cool. So we sewed two different designs on here. 100% cotton made in China. Um where most things are made nowadays I guess so I think that's really cool and then you can put the drawstring in there to tighten the top of it and so this can be used for all sorts of different things it's a very good idea to keep some cotton in your kit because it can be used for a lot of things a lot of people steer away from cotton in wearing it which is good so this was very interesting I'm super excited about this I've heard about it I've seen YouTube videos about it this is the Dragonfire Extreme uh, Tinder Pouch. And so Dragonfire, the company I guess, Dragonfire Tinder Box, makes these and sends them out. And they're all natural Tinder. So what this is, this is birch bark mostly it looks like. And then you have some different types of grass, different types of flammable tree bark. You're going to have pieces of fat wood and hardwood for long burning but this is a really cool kit for people who don't live in a woodland where there is birch bark and maybe a lot of tinder um, or maybe live on a plane so there's not a lot of tinder but they want to you know test their skills with tinder from around the world and in different environments that they live in and so I think it's really cool that they send these out and I'm really looking forward to using this although a lot of this stuff can be found in my local woodland of Oregon. I'm gonna set that here. Um, okay, so this is cool. I think this was a great idea for the pocket box. I'm gonna open this up. This is a neck scarf, I believe. Could be mistaken. Yeah. So this is a neck scarf. So you put it, you can put this over your face. Pardon my hat hair, I guess. So it goes around your neck. Or you can pull up around your face.
like that. So it's for cold weather, and it is made out of polyester, so it's not cotton, which for a cold weather repellent, it is, I prefer, you know, something like polyester over cotton, and especially because you already have a cotton bandana in the bag, or in the box, you, it's good to have this in polyester. So I think these are really cool. It says Creek on it, so you guys can support, you know, Creek and what he's doing in the pocket box and everything. And then moving on. Uh, he does include a small ferro rod. So that's just a small ferro rod that you can put your own handle on, make your own handle for it, because it doesn't come with one that's right in there. And these are just for making fire, you guys know that. Um, you can put your own handle on it. You can even make a, your own handle out of the fat wood. That would be good. That way you have fat wood and then a igniting source of the ferro rod. And he does add, you know, this big piece of fat wood. And it seems like it's really good quality. A lot of resin in there. Um, moving on. So he adds a notebook. So it's a blank notebook that you guys can take different notes in plant identification, different skills that you want to practice, ways to do knots, you know, pick out your knot, your favorite knots from the knot guide and then draw them in here or write them down so you can keep that on you. It says a pocket box on it. Um, he includes a patch. It says not if, it's not if but when, which is sort of Craig Stewart saying, you know, it's not if you get in a disaster, it's when you get in a disaster. I think that's a good way of looking at things. That way you're always in the prepared mindset of keeping prepared because it's not if, but it's when you're going to get in a disaster, you know? Um, and this paper can definitely be used as fire starter, all this paper in here. So that is a multi-purpose item. And then let's move on to the splint. So this is a splint. There's instructions on here how to roll it and how to um, wrap it around your arm or arm, leg, any type of different appendix you can wrap this around it's a splint it's so pretty lightweight the splint is pretty compact pretty lightweight you know it, it doesn't weigh much and so it's not going to take up a lot of room in your kit but it is I mean it does take up a fair amount of room so maybe putting this in a car bag emergency car bag that you have in your main vehicle would be a good idea but I'm not going to be carrying this around in my backpack all the time but maybe in a large medical kit I'll put that in and it's a good thing to have in a medical kit so the next thing is a spoon making kit so he's carved out or cut out uh, with probably some type of saw a spoon cut out so that you can make your own and he's going to be adding these forged tools, hand forged tools, um, into each kit so that you can carve out your own spoon, you know. And I'm not going to work on that right now, but, you know, it's a tool, it's just a simple handle, simple design, and you can, you know, carve out your own spoon. I've done that in the past, and it's quite a bit of fun, and it's good practice. And so he's going to be adding these um, different type of forged tools into each pocket box for I don't know how long. Um, so the, you guys have that to look forward to in every new box. Dropping stuff. And then a couple of not if but when pencils. So pencils are good. I think they're probably to go with the notebook. These are good things to have in your kit. Because you can use them as fire tinder, fire tinder or fire starter. Um, maybe not the lead inside, but the wood on the outside, you can save it down and use that as fire starter if you have to. Or you can just use it as a pencil. Then I believe the last thing, um, I will be trying this now, um, but this is a sucker or ant, ant licks. So this is a sucker that has ants inside of it. So the reason it has ants inside of it is extra protein. I think I did a, a video a while ago eating a grub, so I've definitely eaten my fair share of bugs around my woodland. And so it just, you know, it's got a few ants in it and it's just a watermelon flavored item, a food item that you can put in your kit to 
help someone who may, may be diabetic or you're just hiking and you get hungry or you need the extra energy from the sugar or something like that, it's always good to have some sorts of food in your kit. It's something that a lot of people overlook because they say, oh yeah, you know, I can go three weeks without food. But have they gone three weeks without food in the past? Probably not. And so as much as people think that they're all a survivor man and they can do whatever the books say they can, it's not likely and it's always good to pack food, extra food and extra water in your kit. And so that's about it for the Apaka box. You guys can get in on this subscription-based box right now if you go to the websites linked down below in the description box of this video. Just go check those out and you guys can get in on this. It'll be a whole new content list for the next box. This was sent to me for review. I did not pay for this. I was This was sent to me so I can do updates and reviews so I can tell my viewers about this deal and they can get in on it. This patch will probably be going on one of my kits. So you guys can get in on getting one of these boxes every other month. The next month will be February where you will get a box if you sign up. It's about $50 a month plus shipping and then you'll get it every other month. Or it's $50 per box, not every month, but $50 every other month that you'll get a box. Now, with the contents list of this, you guys can see you can probably read it on his website. I haven't seen that. But it's good, I think, for beginners to learn about a lot of different things. You know, someone commented in the last video I did on one of these and said, oh, it's kind of gimmicky. It's not really for me. And that's fine if it's not for him. But this is, I think, geared toward beginners or families who are looking to get into the survival or prepared mindset and want to learn about new gear and you know skills because he does add a lot of skill related things into his kits so that people can learn about doing new things it's not just about the items but it's about learning new things for a beginner or a family who wants to get into this and is also a beginner and so i think it's a really good idea on him of his to do this i think a lot of people this is very helpful for them and I'm really looking forward to what else he puts in the next box. Um, most of this I give away. I want you guys to know that most of what is in this box I do not keep for myself. I give away if I can. Because I know that, you know, I've been in this for a couple of years now. And I have a lot of, you know, a lot of kit items. And I don't need all this. And if I can give this away to someone who might use it more than I will. Or might learn something from it. Then I'm going to do that if I can. You know, give it to a neighbor or a friend or something like that. So most of what is in this box, I do not keep for myself. But one thing, or a couple things I did keep from the last box for myself, was these ferro rod buttons that I use on this wool parka that I made myself. I keep a ferro rod button on here so that I always have a source of making fire on me. And then in my bag, I keep that leather uh, pouch that he put in the last box. And so that, you know, just a way of, I keep tinder in this, it's a way of keeping it dry and keeping it out of the elements. And so I do keep that one piece of kit for myself and just a couple other things. But most of it I do like to give away to people who use it more than I do. And so I don't have a redundancy of kit. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the links below to different videos of mine, different sources of information, and all the information you need on this box. Thanks to my cameraman Adam for filming this video, and we'll see you in the next video, um, hopefully. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. So you can film me filming you filming me while I'm filming you, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. That'll be perfect. Are you filming? Yeah.